Yeah. So hi, we are frequently asked questions and we started this accelerator with a board game that would invite players to discover their deepest questions about the complex world around them. And we end the accelerator with the same ambition to help people find our voice in a complex world, but we end with a different product, one that deals explicitly with the complexities of today COVID-19 pandemic. So imagine the following scene. It's a very typical pandemic scene, basically. Uh, so my neighbor sits outside with his wheelchair and he tells me that he wants to get up the stairs to his house where he has been waiting for his caretakers basically to do so. It's very cold and I'm unable to help him. I want to get too close to him and put him in danger. And at the same time, he feels completely powerless too because his life in the hand, is in the hands of institutions that clearly have difficulty in keeping up with increasing workload. So due to the COVID-19 pandemic, even more people than ever withdraw in their own bubbles. So citizens across the world began to feel that their perspectives don't matter anymore and in the radical decisions that are being taken right now. And municipalities or health organizations are beginning to notice that indeed they are losing touch with their constituencies. They don't know what is going on anymore. So an additional issue is that the conventional research methods are actually inadequate to capture these very daily experiences. So questionnaires fail to grasp the new and difficult to express experiences of isolation and loss of purpose, for example. And good qualitative research tends to be very time consuming and expensive. So to address this need, we developed a web-based app that can be used as a fast and thorough qualitative research tool. So it's based on the anthropology of the census in which we created a method that probes people actually to express these everyday experiences. Our tool encourages people to share and make visible the challenges of the current COVID-19 pandemic. And the app allows users to playfully engage actually with their immediate surroundings and to document their experiences basically on the go. So in collaboration with municipalities, welfare institutions or health organizations, we analyze the stories that we collect and formulate solutions that are very people-centered, meaningful and involve people in thinking about alternatives. So let me show you how it works. So we basically probe users to go for a walk and share stories in different kinds of media types like audio, photo or video. So the tool graphs subtle everyday encounters the user would otherwise not think of sharing, for example, the feeling of not being able to help your neighbor. And the tool can also be used for personal use, basically, by the user as a logbook or diary that uh, can be used for the home. And then we will analyze the information, which I will come back to in a minute, but let me first show you how it works. So this is are just a few of the, the frames um, where you can see how the app would work. It basically asks people to go for a walk. Could be outside, could be even an exploration of your own home. And it starts with very simple questions, but questions that attend to the senses and in that sense sort of evoke all kinds of ideas, memories, uh, experiences that people have. So you can record. But you can, for example, also take a screenshot you can, or a photo and write something about that scene that reminds you of something or that gives some kind of information about what you think of at that moment. Then it gets into more specific questions that, um, that deal with interaction and that allow people to actually talk about the differences that they now encounter in these pandemic times. These are just a few spots, and in the end, it invites people actually to, to join for a workshop. Um, so with that information, um, we actually analyze the stories and the workshop data, for example, that we have, and share our insights and the recommendations that allow municipalities to know better where to focus their attention. So health organizations will know better how and where to adjust their services, and citizens will feel heard and more involved in decision-making. So our team, we are a team of two social anthropologists, an ethicist and a designer, and together we have very specific expertise in social and urban innovation, smart city projects, as well as media, technology, and UX research and design. And due to the international setup of our team, we also, and the experience we had in several European countries, the US and India, we also particularly aim at a more international expansion of the project. 
So we are currently talking about pilots in both the Netherlands and in Germany uh, with certain organizations and universities. Um, and very specifically, we're now actually looking for people that helps develop the back end of our product, but also for municipalities or organizations to run the first projects with and for collaborations with whom we can apply for project calls and funding applications. So if you're in any way interested, then please get in touch. Thank you for your attention.